Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this could be almost classified as an epic tutorial but I guess the effect is a little bit too easy to explain and therefore we just set in as advanced. So what you're seeing on the screen is a color inversion shader. So if you like to do that with a simple bam, just once inversion or do this kind of fade out which you're seeing here, stay tuned. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here, and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff and share my video if you can. So basically this is quite simple um, in principle because what we are just going to do, we go into the shader and then we minus one or we set one minus the regular color and then we get the complete opposite color palette and then we could be done. So let's go into our color thingy and delete everything. So you see the whole stuff unfold. And here we just gonna delete everything so we have a fresh start. So first let's go and start with the shader. This we can actually kill too. So basically what we are just doing here is not too complicated. We do something like this. We make a, a vector 4. So we just basically copy the whole thing and store it into a temporal variable. And then we do something like this. We just take the end color which is the GL frag color and say hey Bam. And for now we didn't change anything. So just once to recap, we just basically take the whole well output. And then basically here is the GL frag color, so the, the color with, with which we are getting in the end. But here we uh, well store it in a variable and that variable we do something which is quite easy. So we ju basically just take this guy, say hey we want to change your RGB value. Bam take one and then minus that color and for example when we put that thing into the room of course it won't be working because we haven't set up anything but this is your code for inversion so this is it you just take the RGB take one minus the actual RGB value so you get the opposite result so then we're pretty much done this should be it so let's put in our um, well our color shader and for example if you just say hey I just want to be a one-time clear effect we just go and say hey shader set shader reset 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 come on, come on. and then what is our target our target is our application surface so we just say draw surface then we say hey application surface then we say zero zero because it really doesn't matter because we just draw the whole screen and for example then we put the thing into the room so kill it drag it didn't change anything and for example once I start the game then you should should see something like this a complete inversion yay so here everything is one-to-one -one inverted but if you say hey I wanted to have that effect actually that looks kind of cool blue water on the left side but if you want to have this kind of let's say as a gradual effect let's say for example you are having a game like mine this puzzle game and you basically want to um, do some sort of poisoning effect or whatever and then you invert the color so just so to kind of a little bit disorient the player with this effect then well this is exactly how you can do that and for that we need a few things more than that because well <laughs> we need and first of all we need uh, a uniform so 
So uniforms are once again uh, things which are variables which we can then translate into the shader. So we just put them in and th therefore I just say hey uniform invert and then we say hey get uniform. So basically we're just going into the shader and saying hey you have a variable which is called a mount and that of course we can put in into our shader. So let's go back into the shader and say hey we have an amount variable. So here it is there uniform and float. Float is kind of important because we're gonna change this guy here. So now we have that ready. Then let's go back into our shader and for that and here comes one of my favorite ones the ease function. Yeah. So I oops up. I just have a start value and a destination value which is between 0 and 1. So, it, so you can see later on I will be mixing between the original color, so the pixel which is the output and then the inverted version and then we will toggle between well a uh, amount which can be nothing to full. In that we, we do a uh, duration of 300 so basically this is a uh, seconds yeah this is five seconds so this is a quite a good duration of course you can speed it up but that is just depending on you then because we have an ease function and if you don't know what an ease function is well I have good videos for that link in the description here I just put in the ease in and ease out so and then what we are we changing the amount which will be toggled between 0 and 1 for five seconds or 300 steps and then we are done here. Then of course we need to do a little thing in the draw GUI because now we need to, well, kind of change the variable which are called amount. And that of course we can like, put in. So shader side uniform, then the variable name uni invert, so this guy here, and then with the value of amount which we are changing in our ease function constantly. And now let's go into our shader because we are done with our color object which is just toggling and changing the shader. Let's go in here and here we do something like this. So basically we copy again the same thing but then we say hey we need to have our normal color because for now these guys are one to one. Nothing changes and here we can leave this guy behind. And now we do a VEC3. Why a VEC3? Because, well, we're just changing the RGB values and now we want to mix between those values, which is, first of all, our normal RGB. So we take RGB. Then we say the inverted color, which is full. RGB, so basically the, the full inverted version, and then we mix in between the amount. And then we are pretty much done. And for now, we cannot leave this guy behind, well, because this is not what we want. Therefore, we need a VEC4 and put in together this color mix, which we are mixing. And then we are taking, I don't know, from our normal guy the alpha because we need an alpha because we skipped on this guy and let's say let's start again bam and this should be pretty much it come on come on come on start as you can see wham of course there is the transition doesn't look too good in my opinion but there's nothing you can do this is how colors are so this is how you can do and i think the effect looks kind of funny so if you wanted to do some transition or for example let's make a transition from regular to inverted and then stick around to that well you can do that as well but then well maybe you don't want to use the ease function or the ease in and ease out hopefully that was of interest to you and you found in or you found some new changes and things which you can kind of use as effects in your game have a good one one up indie